and we're just looking at this uh, Pinan slash Hayan Sandan drill, uh, the part of it uh, uh, where we have come up from the escape uh, from the guillotine. We've shot our arms through, we've, uh, turned a person around, we've put a wrist lock on them. We've used them from here and we stood up like this. So uh, let's just have a look at it. I'm going to use a Yost Frey. Yost, thank you very much. So we started up like this, and uh, he's uh, had me in a headlock. So uh, I want to move into the power this way, as opposed to try to uh, move away from it. So I'm going to quickly come in. I'm going to try to bite the fascia with my teeth. I'll probably get some type of pain withdrawal reflex there. And at the same time, I'm going to reach in and try to grab a hold of the cajones here. That's going to leave one hand free. I'm going to slide up and grab that hand as quickly as I can here. And all I'm going to do is force my head through it, whilst I keep the grip here. And I'm going to now use my shoulder against the tricep tendon to push down from here to break the grip free and to get my hand free. I'm going to slide back and I'm going to put him in a guillotine. I'm going to close it so I get a closed arm guillotine. So let me just stay there. Here, I'm in stunt double. I'm in a guillotine. He's starting to squeeze. I bring my body close and come up just to get a quick fresh breath of air. I seize the hand. The chances of me pulling the hand off are very slim. But I get enough to get a breath in here and hold that. I take the free hand and I pound it into the center section, obviously into the lower uh, uh, abdomen or the testicles if I can. And in that moment where I get that kind of that pirate's dream, sunken chest, <laughs> forget about it. <laughs> the jokes are good too. I pull them back from here, I get a little bit of space. I want to wedge my hand into here and use the, use the hips to rotate my hip body out from here. So that, I, so that I'm, I'm in this position, I impact him, and I come out to here. And then from here, I'm just going to escape through the side door and using the pistol grip, grab the wrist at the metacarpal here. And so I've got the carpal, and I'm going to turn into it. So I've got that joint, I've got that one of the five ancient machines, the screw action here. But I haven't put a, I haven't put a fixed axle here, which would prevent him from turning. I've only pulled him from here. So he's going to spin out of that, come around, and try to take my head off. I'm going to duck underneath it from here, but he's going to wrap my, up, my arms up tight like this. Very tight hikite in there, very tight. I can't get my arms out. He uses the koshio hinero, the hip rotation, to pull the grip off. He keeps my head tightly trapped from here as he pushes against my face, and I wind up in this position from here. Then he wraps it up right away from here into the arm bar. Alternatively, you also wrap this one underneath it from here, bring it up so we'd have a good double grip on it as he stood up and expanded his chest. Thank you. I would have that arm dislocated. Now we're going to break off. We're also going to, we're also going to look at the, the basai as I talked about from here, especially from the Matsumura where you could step on the foot, ah, bite him from here, slam the head so I can grab the hair like this and bring my arm back so I don't get the escape. But what I'm going to do is wrap that in. I'm going to turn around backwards, slide my hip out from here, and wind up taking him up into this position before we escape. We'll come back to that later. But that that issue from the headbutt and the and the guillotine was the ability to punch and step through, to step up like this to turn him around from here. His action was from here. The hand came out this way. It came up around his back. He went to take my head off. Pulls up the hikite pushes my head out, slides over the top of my arm, bends me over, takes the elbow here, and takes the other hand underneath, so he pulls himself up, and hence the uh, joint manipulation. So I think, judging by all the cameras, you're going to get a chance to be able to rehearse that in person. Thank you. <laughs>